Deep in the forest where ghouls haunt and wallow is a town by the name of Sleepy Hollow. It's drowsy and dreamy and filled with dread. They'll warn you be wary of all those things dead. And just when you're sure you're safe asleep in your bed, you might come across a fellow who's lost his head. Please, no. Welcome, new friend, to our dear Sleepy Hollow, where a ghost or a witch might give you a follow. There are so many haunts in the weird coterie that make up this mysterious town's history. Uh, interesting. <laughs> yeah, but again, I just needed directions to the old Dutch house. Oh. Um. Okay, well, it's past the cemetery and to the left. You can't miss it. Well, no, no, you could miss it. You'll just be in a cursed bog. Cursed? You're rather late. Are you do do do, do Faye Martling? I make about Crane, your new tenant. I start at Sleepy Hollow Middle School next week. As a teacher, <laughs> not a student, <laughs> not a kid. I, I'm I'm a, I'm a man. You're smaller in person. Thank you. How, how did you know that? I hacked into Instagram and saw your photos. You mean you logged into Instagram? After 10 is quiet hours, 10 a.m. If you get locked out, I don't care. No pets. The last tenant had a snake and I still haven't found it. I'm allergic to basically every animal. So. And since you're late, I'm raising your rent. 2,000. 2,000? We agreed on 1,200. Pay with personal check only. I don't even remember the last time I used a personal check. Well, cash is fine, but there's a cash fee. 20... 100. Oh, interesting. Usually cash is the cheaper option. When you're a wealthy landlord with incredible hair, you can make your own rules. Judy, the mayor's assistant, left this for you. It's an invite to the mayor's annual autumn gala. Wow, I've never met a mayor before. Also, you're getting bog water on the rug. 2200. I can't afford that. Then get a roommate. You look like you could use some company. Whoa, it came by. He runs around the esplanade All over town in a strained attempt To pay the rent And make a new friend to a lesser extent You think you could help me? Sorry, no free hands. Fake book. Good for storing the still beating hearts of your enemies. Or your inhaler. Can I get you anything? Coffee? Beer? Surge? I thought this was a drugstore. I can put drugs in it. N no, no. I just wanted to put up a flyer on your bulletin board, but I couldn't find us.
What's up? This guy needs help, and I hate him. Got an improv show to advertise? No, no, I, I just wanted to hang up this flyer. Ichabod Crane, huh? Sounds made up. Uh, well, in a way, every name is made up. Ichabod is of Hebrew origin and means absent glory, which some people might find insulting, but I actually think is an opportunity. So absent glory, what brings you to town? I'm the new middle school science teacher. Hmm, because the last one disappeared under mysterious circumstances. Or at least that's the story they're going with. Wait, really? What do you think happened? I think he got sick of Sleepy Hollow and left because he's an adult and he can do what he wants. Not everything that happens here is the result of some curse. I just wish I could have talked to him before I started. Get a lay of the land, you know? <laughs> Maybe someone to um, show me around town. Hmm. That would have been so nice. I guess I could talk to the mayor about it. Oh, yeah, I got an invite to the mayor's annual autumn gala. No big deal. How impressive. Uh, let me check the invitation. I see if I have a plus one. <laughs> be sure and use it on someone who wants to go. If you'll excuse me, I have some very important work to do. Wait, I didn't get your... Name. It's Cat. Like a cat. Bye, Absent Glory. Oh, be sure and take advantage of the open bar. The mayor can afford it. The next evening arrived with a chill in the air. The town's creme de la creme gathered for an affair. The mayor's estate, it looks so storybook. Then Ichabod said, How do I look? Yes. You must be Ichabod Crane. Hi, I'm Judy Garnier, the assistant to Mayor Van Tassel. I'm so glad you got my invite. Look at your tie, it's so straight. Oh, thank you. Actually, my grandmother always said. Fantastic. Let me introduce you to your new neighbors. These are the trousers, Eugene and Ramona. They run the Eugene and Ramona Trousers School of Acting for Children. I say, yes, Mr. Altman. I know I'm looking at the camera. It's called a choice. <laughs> they did immediately recast him. But tell them about craft services. Oh, you've never seen such fruits. And you know this ray of sunshine. This is your new landlord, Dufay. Oh, no, thank you. Jeffrey, will you fetch me a frosé? Do you need more? And this is Dr. Jeffrey Crayon. He's Sleepy Hollow's physician-in-chief, and he's also Dufay's husband. She catfished me. You catfished me, too. No, I did not. Yes, you did. They're on one of those double catfish well, marriages. Oh, sure. It's not my fault. I've never seen a picture of Bonnie Hunt before. This is great. I've been meaning to see someone about my knees. They are... You know, it's always, look at this, Jeffrey. Diagnose me, Jeffrey. It's never, how are you, Jeffrey? <laughs> How's your rash, Jeffrey? And this is Trevor Trinket. He's a star student of the Eugene and Ramona Trousers School of Acting. <laughs> I thought you said it was a kid's theater. Oh, well, it is. I'm 15. Actually, I'll be 15 next month. It's scary. It's scary, all right. And I really look up to my contemporaries, like Noah Jupe and Jacob Tremblay. One time, I saw Millie Bobby Brown at an audition, and she looked at me. And finally, I'd like to introduce you to the mayor of Sleepy Hollow, Baltus Van Tassel. You must be Ichabod Crane. Oh my god, a mayor knows my name. Oh, I brought you something. It's my homemade garlic aioli mayo. I call this one Mayor Nays. I heard you were the star teacher back in Hartford. How are we so lucky as to nab you, Mr. Crane? I'm so sorry, but Mrs. Van Ripper had an allergic reaction to the pumpkin spice. I sprayed it everywhere. It's the theme of the party. Oh, well, Judy, that's honestly pretty basic of you, but go on. Ichabod, let me introduce you to one of your future co-workers so like, at Sleepy bro, Hollow Middle some School. Paddles, and I was like, hey! We don't haze, okay? We recognize the problematic power imbalances, and we don't want to do anything to anyone that would cause distress. So we all just did shots instead! Oh, <laughs> let's do shots! Let's do shots! 
shot! This is Abraham Van Brunt, but we in town affectionately call him Brom Bones. I got extra bones. It's a genetic thing, it's no big deal. It's honestly pretty cool. These are my babes. This is Trip, Cal, and Blair. Brom teaches gym at the middle school. Brom, this is Ichabod Crane, the new science teacher. Bro! Science teacher? Finally! Oh! Hey. <laughs> that means I don't have to sub anymore. Science. Can anybody tell me what this is? Anybody. Please. Can anybody please tell me about science? I'm sure you'll show Mr. Crane a good time, but not too good. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Um, <clears throat> shot. Uh, <laughs> oh, um, maybe another time. Split it evenly. Split it evenly. Absent glory. Did your invite include VIP patio access? Oh, sorry. I, I just wanted to say hi. Hey, you're the mean girl from the drugstore. Thank you. It's not a drugstore. I'd say don't mind her, but you should. She's a witch. Like, for real. Oh, yeah? Can you cast a spell? Oh, I wouldn't drink that. It's probably poison. So, Kat, if that is your real name. It isn't. It's Katrina. Oh, the German form of Catherine. It means unsullied or pure. You Google that before? <laughs> What? No. I'm a Bingsman. Bing man. I, bi I'm, I Bing. I use Bing. So are you, so how are you, find, how, do you, are you from here, ori originally speaking? Yeah, born and raised. I went to college, but it wasn't for me. So here I am, pursuing my dreams of serving beer at not a drugstore. You? Well, I had been taking care of my grandmother, but she died. So I, I don't know, I just wanted to see the world. You wanted to see the world, so you came to Sleepy Hollow? Yeah. You're a bad liar, Ichabod Crane. Before Matilda got me a job at the drugstore, I worked at the bowling alley, but the hours sucked, so... What is up, kitty cat? If we're out of Fireball downstairs, we are out of it everywhere. Ichabod, this is Brom. Don't let him near your gas stove. Oh, <laughs> bitch about it, I have already met. Yeah, your dad introduced us. Wait, your dad? Ah! <laughs> How did you do that? Well, I took a master class on pressure points once. Mayor Van Tassel is your, your dad? That's what he tells me. Mmm, yeah. It's gonna be tight having someone who actually knows science teaching science again. And me, I'm more of a history spurt. Short for expert. I also get wacky with language arts. I know every ghost, ghoul, and haunted hayride in this town. That's not really history, Brom. Oh, yeah? And what is history? Chronological account of past events supported by empirical evidence that... Do you think that I do not have emperor evidence? Brom, do you have... Any idea what the word evidence means? Yes, I do, Kat. It means fun stories that support my opinion. Do you know about the Headless Horseman? Oh, come on. Don't start with this horseman crap. Wh who's the Headless Horseman? <laughs> He's the ultimate shark. An agro-Hessian mercenary hired by the Brits to fight during the Revolutionary War. Decapitated on the battlefield, he wanders these woods at night, unable to pass on until he is reunited with his head. As a matter of fact, you should be vigilant walking home tonight. 
It's foggy as all fuck. Conditions are ripe to encounter the equine caballero himself. And that, mi hermano, is what we call evidence. Also, pretty good at Spanish. I might be scared of my own shadow and certain kinds of pollen, but the evidence supporting supernatural phenomena is slim. Oh, <laughs> righteous, bro. A septic. Skeptic? No, thank you. This whipped cream is unusual. Needing no more proof that Brahm had never matured, Ichabod mingled as the party indoors. I can't even believe this guy would just come into town and steal your gal. Blair! Girls aren't property. Susie B said no man is good enough to govern a woman without her consent. Nevertheless, F that guy. Bates! Activate. Oh, I thought we changed it to Babes Assemble. I thought we changed it from Babes Assemble. I just remember I wanted, on your mark, get set, Babes. Did anybody write it down? Guys, I gave you those moleskin notebooks for Christmas, and for what? Excuse me, sir. Do you know the way to the old Dutch? <laughs> you should have seen your face. Uh, you were like, oh no! Rom, I knew it was you. You're wearing Sperry's. Oh, hey, that's that's pretty. You should wear that. Uh, look, I think men who wear jewelry have like a whole thing. <laughs> Mr. Crane came home that cold, fateful night after receiving a most dreadful fright. Now in his home is a horseman so headless without whom he will surely be bedless. I let you sing your song. Will you please leave? Yeah. Oh! Care proof for a home loan, buddy, that you know? I have some questions. How are you alive without a head? How can you see me? How do I understand you? What's your name? You don't remember? W what about the, the symbol on your sword? Nothing. can't pass on until you find your head. But the longer it's missing, the more you forget. Well, I don't know where it is. I can't even find my keys most mornings. 
You left these in the door. <laughs> did you find a roommate yet? Oh yeah, yeah, I did. He's just um, he's just getting stuff from his old place. Okay, well when he comes back, tell him to swing by. I need him to sign the no fireworks waiver. I will, and he'll love meeting you. Okay, goodbye. You're gonna help me pay my rent? If I help you find your head. Sure, why not? Centuries old German soldier needs my help. Could kill me at any time. First day of work in a new town. Mean landlady. Cute girl at the not a drugstore. This is a lot. Alone during lunch on his first day of school. Ichabod failed to play it real cool. But before he could start to sob and cry, a welcomed visitor would soon stop by. Who? What? Oh, I don't know. Are you gonna eat that? Yes, leave it. Oh. Guess you didn't get a seat at the popular table. Cat! What brings you to the to middle school? Just wanted to make sure the kids weren't being too mean, because I'll put them in their place. I believe it. <laughs> um, <clears throat> uh, I was wondering if you would... Do you need me to get going? No, 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 no. There was, um, there was a mosquito. Did you not, did you not see it? Wow. These Halloween decorations are getting really expensive. <laughs> Man, I didn't even get to eat my lunch. Well, good luck with the rest of the day. And if you're not busy tomorrow afternoon, swing by the store. Maybe we can hang out. Yeah, I would love that. Thank you. You're welcome. See ya. Um, Mr. Crane? Krista Pearson, how can I help you? I don't understand chemical versus physical change. My mom says change is change and it happens whether we want it to or not. That happened when her pottery teacher stopped coming over for private lessons. Uh, okay, well I can explain it again. Mr. Van Winkle would use examples. You mean Rip Van Winkle? Teachers have first names? Okay, well, this is an example of oxidation, a type of chemical change. It involves a new product being formed on a molecular level. Now, when heat is applied to the lemon juice compounds, it creates something new. That is legit. Can I keep that? Do you have a full name? Abraham Brown Bones Van Brunt. Okay, that's too much name. Amen, sister. Brom, we need to talk. About how you have a lemon in your lunch? Yeah, very 1% of you. How else am I supposed to zest the salmon? You don't need to zest salmon. It's a very flavorful... This is what I'm talking about. I can't keep walking around with a headless roommate. He's scary. I don't actually get scared, but sure. I wish we could just... Bonkers idea, bro, but maybe Matilda could help us? She might actually be able to get us a real head. Brom, she can't just wave a magic wand and attach a head to him. Yeah, I'll just wave a magic wand and attach a head to him. You're not in shock over what's happening here? My ancestors were hanged for having innate magical abilities. The injustices perpetuated by white cisgender men are what shock me. A headless war veteran stuck in limbo does not. It's like basically my motto. Wow. You really are a witch? Why do you work? Here. Well, I'm saving to open my own occult shop. I'll do tarot readings, make specialized potions and tinctures, maybe even help wayward souls with their headless ghost problems. Guess you're my first customer. So many men. 
I'm not wearing my culling robes. Oh. This is Verla. She crawled out of my TV. Verla, would you fetch your boyfriend? She'll be right back. Is this your mom? No. Stop looking at that. I'm here to inspect the exits for tomorrow's trivia night. Are your fire extinguishers up to code? You know you should have three, right? Lucretia, you've been here like a hundred times. The exits have remained the same. Also, it's just you and one other trivia team every trivia night. Hi, I'm Ichabod Crane. Have you not met Lucretia? Oh, man. She is also new in town, and she's a Banff. Yes, and before I came here, I grew up in Kansas City, and my hair has always been this color and length. You know this guy? Is he still alive? Him? Yeah. Yeah. He's just really drunk. Because he's lost his job at the rent fair. And it's very, it's very sad. It's very sad. Lucretia works at the Storm's Inn. She runs it. It's haunted as heck. <laughs> and maybe I'd actually, I don't know, book some rooms if I didn't have some thick calf bozo running around town telling everyone that it's haunted. Actually, dark tourism is very in. I don't care about dark tourism. I care about booking rooms. But no, no, the ground is too unstable for my expansion plan, and the attic is too infested with historic mold for my demolding project. Please excuse me. God bless America. She's really lovely. It's super normal. She's right, though. The mold is very historic. Storm's Inn is one of the oldest buildings in town. Used to be a girl's orphanage. I wonder if that's where Rilla came from. Wow, you'd be a great tour guide. Shut up. Farewell, Henri. We will meet again. You never understood our love! Not sure where she dug this one up, but it is fairly fresh. 55, male, perfect bone structure. Get a room. <laughs> Am I right? It's somebody's son. Ichabod, go flip the sign. May I? Spell combines the life force of the horseman with the spirit of whatever skull we choose. The horseman has now taken on the identity of this man. Oh, thank God. I thought I was dead. Oh my God. Dad? But you know I love you. I'm sorry, guys. I just, I miss my dad so much. I feel like I see him everywhere. Oh, I'm so sorry, Brom. When did he die? No, he's not dead. No, he's on a cruise. Asphodel is the food of the dead, so it'll help keep the head alive longer. Okay, when Matilda puts a head on, he becomes a new person. So if you could pick someone to help you find the head of a Revolutionary War soldier, who would it be? Satan. Oprah. Another Revolutionary War Another soldier. Another Revolutionary War soldier. All right. Smart. Um, well, Deadfinder says that Revolutionary War graves are about two rows up, so. Someone's going. Chupacabra! Where are you going? No, Rob, get back here with my keys right now. 
Looks like grave robbing smells like grave robbing. Oh, hi. hi. Oh, hi. I'm Officer Beta Rhonda Meinhoff. Once you're on my radar, you start seeing me everywhere. Well, I was just visiting. And I'm just experiencing hair loss due to stress. You are getting a ticket for trespassing. See you in court on Monday. Court on Monday? Whoa. I'm gonna have to take you downtown. <gasps> um, thank you. Umbrella. Pink is not your color, bra. And actually, SPF 50 offers peak UV protection. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? 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 <laughs> hey, you guys ditched me. I got a ticket. I have to go to court. Oh, no. Court's so scary. What? Stop that. Oh, no. Icky got ticky. Why is everyone being mean? I will stab you. Anyways, while you're whining, I figured it out. I can make the spell last a whole day now. The key was mugwort. Really? Okay, we gotta get that soldier's head. Well, trivia night's about to start, but Burla can hold down the fort, and we can go back to the cemetery. Oh, uh, I can't. I told Kat I'd meet her here for a date. <laughs> but uh, I gotta figure out a fix for Headless. She's gonna be here any minute, and I don't think she's into this. I think he looks great. Is that a real skull? I don't know. Came with the drugstore. You can try it. Wait, what happens if we put this on him and he becomes a psycho? I already thought of it. Baphomet's eyelashes will dissolve the head right off of him. Good luck with this. I'm going to the cemetery. No, wait. Don't leave me with these two. Have you ever met a Kraken? Oh, by the spyglass of Magister Wigbald. It is the finest siren I laid eyes upon since the diamond starfish I fought in the Eastern Isles. Madam, I am Captain Gravy Davy Crowbones. Plague. I don't do that anymore. There are so many other ways to kill a man. Um, hello? Yo. Yeah. White is the most loveliest lass I laid eyes on since the diamond star. Cat, this is my cousin, um, Gr Gravy, and he is, he does, lar he does LARPing. He does, he is LARP. He, he does LARP. Mm. Gravy, I the wishes to sleeve Davy Crowbones. Friend to animals. Nice to meet you. Now I be seeing you all hanging the jib when there's ale to be drunk, huh? Merla, I think that means get us some drinks. Astronomy is probably my favorite branch of science. All the stars in the night sky are the same ones that inspired countless religions and languages and navigational systems. Oh, it's incredible. <laughs> yeah. My mom was an astronomy nut, actually. 
We had this huge telescope up on the roof and she'd take me up there some mornings before dawn and we'd eat donuts and look at constellations. Wow, your mom sounds awesome. Yeah, she was. She died when I was 10. Oh gosh, I I'm sorry. It's all right. You want to know why I'm really here? I was actually born here. When my parents passed away, I was sent to live with my grandmother. She hated Sleepy Hollow. When she died, she gave me this. I had so many questions. Guess I just came here for some answers. You are only too melancholy for an eve of merriment such as this. <clears throat> Get asking the questions, you brainy barnacles. Come on! Oh! Oh! All my best pals in the same place? This feels like a sitcom. <laughs> Brahmi, you're on a trivia team? Mm-hmm. Ah! Check it out. It was just me and the babes at first, but then Lucretia joined. She brought our team up to the next level. She knows a lot about foreign policy. Yeah. You. And heck? Drinking? Talking? Is this a. D <sighs> Just practice the breathing exercises in and out. In and out, over and over, until I die. How could you do this to me after everything we've been through and the week before Triv Tourney? We're, we're just hanging out, Brom. And even if we weren't, you and I haven't dated for like a decade. Who got you your job at the bowling alley? All right. Who held your hair back? At the Autumn Gala last year when you barfed up shrimp, it was gross. It was chunky. What's the makeup to grumblings over yonder, you skunky bunkers? <laughs> hey, uh, let's get you home. Uh, sorry, Kat, my uncle has to- I thought you said he was your cousin? I have a weird family. Is this guy bothering you? Oh, if I have them's below, them's uh, attractive breaches. A cost outlet. By the way, Splice the main beam. Well, I, Captain Gravy Davy Crowbones, architect of the San Juan Suizal, challenges this here sooth man to a duel. Oh! He gets like this when he's drunk, you know, challenging people to duels and um, having a sword. Okay, let's go home. No, no, many have tried and all have failed to tie down Captain Navy Baby Crowbones, lover of Juniper Leboeuf. <laughs> Lady of a thousand sapphires. And with Gravy's last swoon, Ichabod's date was on hold. His unconscious accomplice dreamt his drunk dreams of gold. The next morning, our Ichabod awoke with a scare and realized his scalawag friend was not there. Oh, where? Oh, where is our gravy, Davy? Oh, there he is. <laughs> where did you go? Took me to sunrise, but I found it. My most treasured treasures buried by me long ago. <sighs> All that remains of my beloved Juniper, whom I met and lost on this shore. Oh, and observe, my sea log. <laughs> you have to hide, as my first mate commands. Uh, hi, I love that this is happening. Talk to Officer Meinhof. Uh, Apparently, I'm housing a criminal. I am raising your rent. Call it a hooligan's tax. You know I can't pay anymore. Oh? Looks like you have a whole box of delicious goodies here. <gasps> Ew! Why is everything so dirty? <gasps> oh. Oh, this is nice. <gasps> yes! 
Jeffrey's gonna have to put this one in the safe, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Tis I, Captain Gravy <gasps> Davy Crowbones, tyrant of Eastern Copenhagen. And those jewels belong to my lover, God rest her soul! <laughs> <laughs> Bod Crane is in quite a pickle as the piratey horseman turned out to be fickle. And to make matters worse, he's got a crush. Her smile and her manners turned his heart into mush. Will Cat Air return this most amorous feeling? Or maybe she'll see that he's just mm, not that appealing. Oh, come on, man. How's the landlord? She's in a coma, just waiting for her to wake up and accuse me of murder. I remember my first murder trial. Verla, go lock the door. I don't have long. The trousers are paying me 50 whole dollars to film their Sleepy Hollow Town history play. But I got a Revolutionary War soldier. His tombstone says he died in 1776. This is trippy as hell. Max Lee? My hands smell like hands. <gasps> oh, snap! I'm alive! Yo, this is tight! Yo, being six feet underground was a bit of a bummer, but I died doing what I loved. Revolutionary War reenactments. You died doing... The biannual reenactment of the 1776 Battle of White Plains. Caught the wrong end of a cannon in the 2015 show. Whoops. Why does your tombstone say you died in 1776? I'm committed to being the best reenactor there ever was, so I paid the funeral home in advance to change the date. Woo -hoo. You guys got any hot Cheetos? This is a disaster, but I, I have to go to the show. Count saving me a seat, so. Yo, is this you? Whoa, look at that. That's funny. <laughs> oh my God, your yearbook. Are you sitting backwards in a chair? Yeah, okay, they told us to do that. Cat. Brahma of butts. To my bestie, it's been a wild ride. Thanks for everything. See you on the other side. Love, Cat. Wow, ominous. Well, we've been through a lot, and she wants me to invite you. We well, don't sound very enthused. No, it's just. I don't know. I would love to. Oh my gosh, I love live theater. Love live anything. <laughs> Get it? Me, this guy gets it. Hey, can we stop at a 7-Eleven on the way there? Do those still exist? All right, whatever, cool. Well, aren't you gonna sing about this? Huh? Oh, no, Bard Union says I need to take a four hour break every 30 minutes. How do you get into the Bard Union? Absent glory, you made it. Yeah, I really oh, hey. like I'm Max Lee, Revolutionary War reenactor by day, marijuana delivery man by... by night. Different cousin. Hey, maybe we should all stop talking because the show's about to start Ichabod. Citizens of Sleepy Hollow, patrons of the arts, and licensed theatrical reps, I am Eugene Trousers, 5'11". And I am Ramona Trousers, 5'4", Mezzo Soprano. And I think our production mm. of this annual tradition is going to blow your socks off. Eight weeks of rehearsal. 12 hour days, back breaking work, and then a week of tech 
And then we throw it out and start it over. Because art is messy. We are in service of the work. Yes. And if the work means that we needed to fire all the other children and hire some seasoned local talent yes, to yes. ensure that our little Trevor Trinkins has the best ensemble around him, then so be it. Enjoy the history of Sleepy Hollow. Oh, I was in this play when I was 10. Really got me in the history. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. You sure did spook me. But wait a minute. That's my job. It's me, the Headless Horseman. This guy's like 30. Trevor? He's 14. He's definitely... He's 14, Ichabod! You may know me as the restless ghoul that haunts these woods, looking for my head. But in reality, I'm an evil German mercenary who was beheaded in a revolutionary battle right here in Sleepy Hollow. Guten Tag. Um, wrong. First, evil, subjective. Two, the battle was in White Plains. To tell you my story, I need to start from the beginning. A very good place to start. The year is 1609. Henry Hudson leaves Amsterdam in the Half Moon with two other ships. The Lichtgaven, captained by his wife, Henrietta. And the Mitternacht, captained by his lifelong friend, Frederick Storms. Only the Half Moon makes the journey intact. Henry arrives in what is now called Terrytown. Ugh, do your research, old kid. There is evidence that one of the ships did make it here. Ugh, lunchable? Alone on a new continent, Henry decides to leave Sleepy Hollow to discover new lands, but not before naming Ambrose Van Tassel the mayor of Sleepy Hollow. <sighs> Van Tassel? There's always been a Van Tassel in Sleepy Hollow. Cutie? And Brunts. Always been tassels and Brunts. Forever. Getting married and stuff. Henry travels north, but faces a mutiny. <laughs> In town, school teacher Annika Storms establishes one of the first girls' orphanages in the US. A year later, she disappears mysteriously. People say that Annika was a witch. Man, I know so much stuff. I really wasted my potential. Ugh. Pam? Hey, Kat, what are you doing after this? Shut up. This is my favorite part. My mom used to tell me this story when I was a kid. Freaked me out so bad. Nice. A woman in white is said to haunt the woods, alerting those who pass to steer clear, lest they be caught in a deadly storm, as she was. Stay away from Raven Rock! <sighs>
That's my boy, Blair. This was better than when I was in Cirque du Soleil. I don't know what you're talking about. I am not jealous of Ichabod. Okay, boss. Um, my friend said that the closest Revolutionary War battle was actually in White Plains, not Sleepy Hollow. That's 10 miles away. Oh, I know. They have a spa there I just love. They do these LED light peels. Oh. I have a referral. No, it's just, why would a German soldier haunt Sleepy Hollow if he died in a different town? Are you, a grown man, actually asking about the logistics of ghost hauntings? Speaking <laughs> of grown men... Uh, the other kids were asking if you can drive us to Denny's. Uh -huh. oh. Fine, but no singing. You have that self-tape of that Flick Picks audition. Are you thinking that our new friend is not a German soldier? Well, has anyone ever figured out how that story began? Well, I could ask Judy for files on locals beheaded in the war. Hey, um, your cousin is outside trying to smoke the vine. That stuff's poisonous. I'll go stop him. I have to get back to work anyway. If I leave Verla alone too long, things start disappearing into other dimensions. <sighs> Well, I gotta go to work too, right? <laughs> work on making lunch! Yeah! Oh! Tuna sandals! Look! Less red meat! Ooh. So, you uh, headed back to the graveyard soon? Brom! Why would he go to the graveyard? I've hotboxed in the mausoleum. I don't know if you can tell, but I party. Hey, Max! I got some premium kush. You want a toke? Oh, could I use that during the historical abomination we just witnessed? Hit me! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god, is this a beef of lunch? <laughs> oh my god! I can explain. This guy has no head? Ichabod! You sick, Dr. Frankenstein sicko. This is... A scientific anomaly? This is... Something Icky should absolutely be in jail for. I agree, I will call mine off. This is incredible! My mother used to tell me stories about the headless horseman of Sleepy Hollow. How you'd ride through the nights in search of your lost head, unable to move on. I wish my mom was here to meet you. Yeah, I've been helping him find his heads. Maddie's been like casting spells. It's a whole group thing. I I promised my dad I'd watch Bosch with him this afternoon, but I really want to help. Things sure are getting interesting with you around, Ichabod. Well, looks like that blew up in your face. Nah, I knew she'd be DTF. Down to find his hat. Brom, can you find me another head? It's a little risky for me right now, and you, you kind of owe me one. I sure do, buddy. Great. Um, her name was Greta Bradley. She was a top-notch lawyer, and I want her to represent me in court tomorrow. You know, as a horseman. Yeah. Babies are on it. Okay. Coast is clear. Let's boogie. Yeah. Let's boogie. Ichabod Crane. Where have you been? Your court date starts in 10 minutes. Sorry, Brom just gave me this lawyer's head at the last minute. He was acting so weird. Just go look, go look over there.
Something tells me that she is not an attorney at law. More like attorney at laughs. Ah. Hey, what's up, fam? It's your girl, Devlin Versace, coming at ya. Hoping all my little deviled eggs are ready to get their yolks scrambled, son. Oh, oh, oh. Nice, hey, sorry I've been AWOL for a minute, okay? My last prank on Devlin's advocate, wanna snatch her, you know what I'm saying? We're talking high key, yikes. <laughs> I was bungee jumping uh, off of a turbo blimp. And if you follow my Finsta, you totally know all about it. But um, basically what happened is the cord snapped and it plummeted to my death. Tried to be the goat, but in the end I got smote. <laughs> uh, uh, honestly guys, I'm gonna be real with you for a second. It totally bummed me out. Cause I really thought that that prank was gonna get me to a streaming nomination. And I know what you're saying, Devlin, you've hosted it three times. But it just hits differently when you are nominated. I'll it's visit just... you in prison, so. Oh, okay. Bye. 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 Nice. <laughs> hey fam, check it out. Meet this guy. Hey, introduce yourself, man. Hi, I'm, I'm Ichabod. Hey, yo! <laughs> Yorkies, Yorkies, Yorkies! Nice. Oh man, I look great. And remember fam, if you want more content like this, click that link, become a patron. Smash that like button. Who would want more of this? So many people want more of this. Check this out, what? Oh, who me? Who me? Barkley! <laughs> nice! How many catchphrases do you have? 4,200. Hey. Hey. What's up? I'm waiting on an important delivery. Are you helping Ichabod and the Headless Horseman? Why didn't you tell me? You don't have a lot of time. Okay. You need to be Stop. able to I know. Mm. Ladies and hags. Why is it that I see you every day? You guys hear about Icky? I was like probably gonna spend the rest of his life in jail. Oh no, what a bummer. Anyways, sup, cat? Your beachy locks are looking particularly effortless today. You dug up that YouTuber on purpose. <laughs> 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 Prove it. Sabrina the not so teenaged witch. I bet you're really, really happy with yourself that you've regressed back to toxically masculine high school brom, bullying the new kid on the block. That was very hard to hear, Manny. I mean, I think of myself as the Marty McFly of my life, obviously, but am I the villain? Did I just biff my relationship with Ichabod? Candy Grandpa Matilda. Except instead of candy, it's all the local beheading reports since the town was settled. These are on loan from the town archives, so I'm gonna need you to be exceptionally careful. So don't like use them as coasters or get any of your fake blood on them. I'm talking to you, Missy. It wasn't fake. I'll be back for these soon. Don't forget to stretch at least once an hour. Thanks, Judy. I know how you can make it up to Ichabod. You can help me sort through all these documents. No. Found it. Oh, no thanks. Ichabod Crane. Guilty. <laughs> Not guilty. I mean, of, of crime. Guilty of being Ichabod. I'm Ichabod. You were. You wanted to know if I was Ichabod. Oh God, I feel sick. Oh, hey, Pepto? Good call. It's actually a laxative. <laughs> Please, I need to stay under the radar and just get through this. I need to stay under the radar. <laughs> Ichabod Crane, approach the bench. Oh, oh, shit. And this is? Uh, I'm defendant's counsel. Devlin Versace. I may not have a law degree, but I do have plenty of unpaid parking tickets. <laughs> I also have a reality show in development with Flick Pick Studios. It's called Devlin's in the Details, streaming this summer. <laughs> Is that the newest iPhone? 
I'm looking to upgrade. How is the camera on that? Does it have five Gs? Uh, it has so many Gs, you could spell Google with it. <laughs> That's only two Gs. It's also super compatible with my new crypto payment app, Cash Me Outside. It's available only outdoors and in certain parts of Florida. Devlin gang. Interesting, let's talk after. Ichabod Crane, you are charged with trespassing. Is Officer Meinhof present? Always, Your Honor. I might have known. Can you please recount the events of that day? With pleasure. There I was working the graveyard shift, literally, when I came across this ne'er-do-well doing no well. Is this true, Mr. Crane? Were you doing no well? No, Your Honor. Only well. I hold you in contempt of court! You're supposed to be helping me. You can't handle the truth, man. Hey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I might, I might actually have a little bit of Adderall left in my system. <laughs> is it necessary for Crane to have representation? It is not. Bailiff, remove her. <laughs> That's what two years at Houdini Summer Camp for Children will get you. Thanks, Mom. Suck it, U.S. legal system. Uh, huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You're natural. You look great. You. Yeah. Have you ever And there were Matilda, Cat, and Young Brom, pouring o'er the records of a history long gone. They searched through the names of the glorious dead, looking for someone who'd be missing their head. So many dead soldiers, and not a single one decapitated. Oh my god! Cotton Van Tassel! The bad boy of the Van Tassel family. It says here he survived the war and was decapitated in a drunken duel. When I say Devlin, you say egg, Devlin, egg, egg Devlin. Egg. Nice. Remember to use promo code Devlin for 10% off. Off of what? Mr. Crane, you are sentenced to 50 hours of community service. <laughs> and Devlin Versace. Yeah. My socials need a glow up. Can you help me? I got you, Abigail Adams. I got you, okay? I'm gonna hit you up on Clamshell. It's this new app. It's made specifically for flip phones and boats. <laughs> 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 oh, <no. laughs> when did you have time to make all this slime? When did you have time to make all of that slime? Hey, remember everyone, do not try this at home, okay? I'm a licensed prankster, and I have my degree in biochemistry from MIT. <laughs> when did you have time to make all this slime? Were you doing no well? No, you're out. When did you have time to make all this slime? I got 50 hours of community service. And then Devlin stayed and helped Judge Pringle start a YouTube channel. I hope you're happy. Are you hungry? I'm making a Xanax egg rolls. Bro. What I did was supremely uncool. Using our magical abilities to thrust you into the clutches of an unjust legal system it was VV unchill of me. And I'm filled with regret as penance. Here is a bag full of heads that I dug up. Oh, hi guys. Sorry, I just wanted to tell Ichabod not to stress you out anymore, but my dad wants to have you over for dinner tomorrow to see how you're adjusting. Poorly. I've been in his town less than a week and I'm already a criminal abetting the ghost of a mercenary soldier. That actually might not be true. We did some digging. The only Sleepy Hollow resident on record as having been beheaded is Cotton Van Tassel. My ancestor and mayor of Sleepy Hollow from 1777 to 1785. I gotta head home. I promised dad I'd watch Safe House, but um, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Yeah, hello, Monica. This is Tina. Uh, I'm calling from the sweepstakes you entered. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, you won! <laughs> yeah, a lifetime supply of Activia. Will murdering Devlin cheer you up? Yeah, I guess just look for a giant yogurt truck. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, you guys got me. So good. Prankster becomes a Frankie. Nice. Really nice. Oh my god. Oh my god, my head. Oh my god, my head! Choose your destiny. No, it's okay. Uh, you're like um, a, a magical zombie, and she is a witch that brought you back to life. Everything's okay. Sup? That's Brom. You're Ann Terry. This is Baltus's assistant before Judy. I was. Before he killed me. Since the last we saw our gang, they've been running around these parts. They're doing their little gang things and doing Hi. this. Hi. Ichabod? It's Anne. No, don't hang up. Don't hang up. You have to stop calling me. But I think I could really help you. No, Anne, you can't come here. Please, I'm so good at characters. Like, I took an improv class before I died, and I never even got to the show. Please let me do this. Baltus will recognize you, and I'm trying to impress Kat. I can't have a weird ghost zombie showing up accusing her dad of murder. Brom and Matilda are going to investigate while he's distracted. I have to go. Bye. And his sweater vest caught on fire. Yeah. I missed the whole song. Dude, that was my best stop. Can you play it again? Okay. Since last we saw our gang, they've been running. Hey, Dad. Our sacrifice to the pagan gods is here. Mr. Crane, my good man, our guest of honor, welcome. No, no, uh, no. So, does Kat need any more help in the kitchen? She's finishing up. Any more vagrant sightings at the old Dutch house? No, uh, such a shame he got away after stabbing Dufay. Mm, hope she wakes up soon. And Lord help the person who did it if Judge Pringle ever gets her hands on him. But you know about that. Oh, you heard? The mayor sees all. <laughs> Pringle's got you doing community service, huh? You know, I think us gents have to get a bit crazy every once in a while, huh? Look out, Sleepy Hollow! We have a new resident bad boy! <laughs> what are you doing? There could be invisible lasers. Is there DNA in blood? I sure hope not, because it's everywhere. Cat's mother, Elizabeth. You can see where she gets her good looks. <laughs> she got her obstinate streak from yours truly. Cat said her mom was interested in legends and folklore. Interested? She wrote the book on local legends, literally. There wasn't a haunted rock or a bewitched gas station within a hundred miles that she didn't know about. Before you leave, pick up a few of her books and read up. My favorite is Sleepy Hollow Herstory. It's about important women in the area from even before the town was founded. Henrietta Hudson, Annika Storms, all kinds of boss bitches. 
Uh, <clears throat> did she ever mention the the headless horseman? Oh, haven't you seen him yet? What? No. The, oh, the horse. The horseman. No. Well, you're not a true resident of Sleepy Hollow until you think you've seen him. Elizabeth had some theories about who he was. She always thought the best of people, even the horsemen. But she let it get to her. They wouldn't even publish her last book. She got taken with conspiracy theories, claiming that Henry Hudson didn't even found the town, that he was up in Nova Scotia exploiting the natives. Not sure where we lost her. Wonder who that could be. Ichabod, there's um someone here for you. Hey, how are you? Uh, packed in a red zone, but they don't take it on weeknights. Nice to meet you. I am Mac. I hope you don't mind. I brought my donkeys. Um, this is my cousin. Mac. Mac. Mac, like Macintosh? Mac, like Mac Wahlberg. I didn't know there was a Mac Wahlberg. Mac. 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 She can't read? I'll uh, set another place. I must say, Mark, I have the feeling we've met before. I don't think so. Oh, Mark. Looking for evidence that Baltus killed his last assistant. I have one of these. Whoa. Baltus was paying off Cram? Now that is sus. It's probably just for Xanax, so we can handle Judy's energy. Oh, Omar. What do you do? Well, Baltus, I'm uh, a cop, turned FBI. Just got recruited by the CIA, actually. Yeah, you know, CSI, SVU, NBC, and uh, yeah, they've been, uh, they've been scouting me for a while due to my ability to solve crimes. Turns out, I'm wicked good at it. <laughs> oh, that's a noble pursuit. Public safety, justice, it all sounds thrilling. You know, I've heard there's actually a lot of paperwork involved, not like on TV. No, 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 I've never done any paperwork. No, all I do is find out who did crimes. <laughs> That's it. Whoa. Snuck this out. It's a manuscript from Kat's mom for her next book. January 13th, 2005. I often wonder if I'd ever have the chance to meet the ghost myself. Perhaps this weekend, I'll finally come face to face with destiny. I'll be ready. That's the day before Kat's mom died. Where would I put the evidence if I did murder? Maybe in an old phone like this? Go on! <gasps> This is like a million years old. Oh, and this. This is real leather. No friend to the cow. That is Judy's. Really hope she's not up here. Oh! Uh, 
Uh, we can explain. Rom and I are in love. <laughs> and we're meeting here for our lover's rendezvous. Because it's the last place anyone would think to look for us, you know, to, to people who are in love. Mark, I notice you're admiring the chandelier. It's from 1888, when Reginald Van Tassel built this place. Never heard of him. Speaking of Elder Van Tassels, the trousers mentioned a cotton in the fall play the other day, and I, I hadn't heard much about him. Well, we try not to speak about him. Beheaded in a duel over a soup that was too wet. More rolls? No, no. The only thing I'm hungry for is justice. Oh, I think you might be interested in a little dessert. <laughs> it's an old family recipe, Cat. Shall we? Oh my God, you guys, it's amazing. How long has this been going on? Oh, four years. Four, four years. Four years. And, and, and I'd marry her if I could, but I... <laughs> Who would accept us? You know, uh, me, handsome, charming, well-loved, her, knees both too close together and too far apart at the same time. Oh, God, your skin is so cold. Why? <laughs> well, you know what? I could marry you right now, I'm ordained. No. Seems like a lot. Wedding's no, expensive. No, no, there's no need. There's know, so much to do. My mom's not here. Oh, I insist. Hooray. Oh, it's me. I know. I told you to stay home. But I can get him to confess. Plus, Brahms babes are outside. They're in my ear, like, telling me cool stuff to say. This is the dumbest idea. We heard that. That was babes. They told me to say that. And if you could just uh, sign here and here for me. And now, by the power invested in me, by Sleepy Hollow and the internet, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. I can't do it. I can't do it. You may kiss the bride. Do it, 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 do it. Oh, God! I always cry. What makes you so sure he's responsible anyways? Because the last thing I remember is Baltus giving me a drink and then pain. So he poisoned you? Why? I don't know. I was a great assistant, and I'm, like, very good at accents, so... Try to remember. Okay. Um, Kat was sick at the Autumn Gala last year. Dr. Cran came to check on her a week later. He was there that night. And the two of them were talking in his office, but I couldn't hear what they were saying. You have five minutes till your head dissolves. You have to go. But I am so close to getting a confession. High time for pie time. Oh, and look who I found. Cotton Van Tassel's ashes. <laughs> I thought we might raise a toast to the dumb old bastard. Wait, is that all of him? Yeah, yeah, that's his head and body back together again and then burned in the town square according to his wishes. Well, I guess it's not cotton. Oh, no, it certainly is. We Van Tassels are extremely thorough. You sure you don't want a piece of this delicious pie? Oh, ah, oh, ah. Oh. Socks game starts in 10. Thanks for dinner, B. I'm watching you. Ha ha! No, I'm not. Or am I? <laughs> Lovely to meet you, Mark. Listen, if you're ever back in town, 
Don't be a stranger. Oh, I am not a stranger. Hmm? Uh, excuse me. <laughs> Dr. Crayon wants to chat. Probably about my blood pressure again. <laughs> Don't touch my pie, Ichabod. Okay, what is going on? Who was that? That was Ann Terry. Ann Terry? She OD'd last year. What are you using her head for? I, I just picked one at random. <laughs> Here's the thing. <laughs> and it's funny, you're, you're gonna laugh. Um, she thinks that your dad killed her. <laughs> <laughs> what? I know, it's crazy. Pi? Why would my father kill her? Exactly. <laughs> you don't think that she knew something about him? Maybe something illegal he Are did? Are you or... kidding me? You are actually taking her seriously? It's just... I think you should leave. Cat, Get I... out! Go. Please don't. Jeffrey, we had a deal, and I am not renegotiating it. Goodbye. Mom had some theories on the identity of the horseman. <laughs> also, we found some checks made out to Doc Cran from Balti, but Matilda said it was nothing. Also, uh, we got married. Anne said Crayon was there the night she died. That's not nothing. Wait, I recognize that symbol. Whoa, check this out. It is a curse that is passed from one soul to the next. That means the headless horseman could be anyone. Even someone from modern times. You guys, I put a new hat on Headless, and I tried to stop it. Oh God, is he some kind of lunatic? Worse. So, uh, do we have any organ donors in the house tonight? My wife got mad at me because I sawed another woman in half at my magic show. She wasn't jealous, I just did the trick wrong and the woman died and I went to jail for 10 years. <laughs> He's pretty good. It's time for a segment of the show I call Hot Takes with Bruce McConnell. Hot take. Gloria Estefan means Gloria the Stephen in English. Hot take. The rhythm getting ya was a leading cause of death in 1987. I'm more of a Bell Hicks fan. Belts? Why don't you just make pants that fit? No! I have a crippling tomato allergy! This is how I died! Should I do something? No. no. And so our sweet Ichabod Cleaned up trash and grind also that our Ichabod could atone for his crime. And to top it all off, he's really pissed off his girl as mysterious clues won't cease to unfurl. So what are you guys in for? We just enjoy keeping our community clean. Yeah, we don't need to commit a misdemeanor to do it. God. Ah! 
Doc, <laughs> you, you're in a, a good mood. What's, what's Dufay, um, <clears throat> how's, how's Dufay? Unfortunately, she's extremely, extremely good. She could wake up at any second, shh, shh, shh. But I just got off the phone with my lawyer. The papers are official. We are divorced. <laughs> this is the happiest day of my life. <laughs> Boys, now I'm finally gonna get that boat and sail the seven seas. Oh. Is this Vuv Click, eh? No, 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 it's the cheap stuff. Don't be ridiculous. Hey! Oh! Where did you come from? I told you, she was a doll that came to life. Did you get the ginger root like I asked for? Ginger root? I thought you said toilet paper. Oh God, I'm sorry, babe. I'll get it next time. If you get a divorce, I would be honored if you blamed me. Why? She's sweet. The symbol from Elizabeth Van Tassel's manuscript. It's also in Gravy Davy's sea log. And look at this. I came to Tarrytown in search of legendary treasure, but when I seen the figure of a man atop a horse without his bow, it became too much. This man is not flesh or blood, but hellish creature from foul beyond. That's you, right? And this entry is dated 1622, which means you've been around way longer than the Revolutionary War. What's this? Oh, that was folded up in the treasure chest. It's a piece of an old map. There's writing around the edges, but it's cut off and I don't know where the rest of it could be. I do. Wrong. where's our marriage certificate? I got it framed. I thought it'd be something special. We could open it together and celebrate. And then once it's all gone, you... No! You know, we could have just taken it back if you didn't like the rose gold. This was in Baltus's office. Looks like Latin. Can you read it? We still have a bunch of heads left. Maybe one of them is like a Latin teacher or a school teacher or a scuba diver? No, or... no, no. We're not using any more heads. They're only causing trouble. We're gonna do this the old fashioned way. Bing. Ew. Those seeking to slay the headless beast will find the answers where the learned women be. The school. Nope, because that wasn't built until 1933. Told you. I'm a history spurt. Ooh, yes! The library! <laughs> I always say, women be reading. You know, chewing on ice can be indicative of a larger problem like anemia. That's glass. We are putting up an announcement of our brand new production of Oliver on the bulletin board outside. We're doing you a favor by taking down these old ratty flyers. And that boy isn't missing. He clearly ran off to Hollywood. But that bone structure, uh, uh, hey, give it to me straight, you guys. Do I have what it takes to be an actor? Well, you've got that glassy-eyed Midwestern farm boy charm that I had when I started in this industry five years ago, when I was eight. All right, thank you, everyone, but we are a little busy, so oh, if you could... Oh, it's fine. The auditions don't actually matter. No, Trevor is playing all the roles. It's a radical reboot of the original text into a one-man show. One-boy show. <laughs> Where the learned women be? Storms Inn used to be an orphanage. Annika Storms was a teacher. I'm sensing the focus of this scene is moving away from us. Yes, let's go. And then Millie looked at me. Trevor! Stop telling people that Millie Bobby Brown looked at you. It was a Stranger Things t-shirt on another boy. God damn it! You know? Last trivia night, Lucretia kept saying how she couldn't do construction in the basement because it was unstable. 
I'll bet my alpaca sweater vest that the head is underneath Storm's Inn. I'll head her up tomorrow. Lukey and I are pretty close. No, you cannot see the basement. I am fully booked for a wedding today. You cannot see anything. If I see you or your band of weirdos here today, I will carve your eyeballs out. There are 200 ways I could do it using only what's on my person at this second. Hey, when was this taken? I don't remember. It was a really nice day. This is one of the ships in Henry Hudson's fleet. No go. Lucretia threatened to murder me. I don't think I fully processed how scared I am. No, we have to get in. We are so close to this nightmare being over. You, uh, rang boss? <clears throat> and Mrs. Boss? All right, babes. We need someone that can get us into Storm's Inn. No, no. Matilda, no. No more heads. All right, just go watch the door. Make yourself useful. Tell him, hon. Everyone laugh. <laughs> <laughs> and stop. I can't believe her. The disrespect. I went grave robbing for her. I, I went to court because of her. I'm being haunted by a headless ghost and my crush's <gasps> cat. Hi. I wanted to say I'm sorry for freaking out on you the other night. It's a lot to take in. Um, I never told you what happened to my mom, but my dad lied. He said she drowned, but last year I found out. I just can't deal with losing another parent. It's okay. I'm sorry. You don't need to be sorry. Oh, he definitely needs to be sorry. This gives a whole new meaning to the term habeas corpus. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the first meaning, so that joke is lost on me. Ooh, uh, what about Polly Tahoe? You boys got the Polly Tahoe? Yeah, his family had him buried in Sleepy Hollow so his enemies couldn't dig him up and defile his corpse like we just did. Who the hell is Polly Tahoe? <laughs> oh, boys, somebody hook wifey up with a Tahoe tail. All right. Check it out. One time, Polly Tahoe smuggled an entire slot machine out of the Morongo Casino in broad daylight. Polly Tahoe refused to ever wear the same suit twice. And get this, Polly Tahoe was the reason Ben Affleck and JLo broke up. And why they got back together. Oh, where did you come from? Oh, well. Okay. All right, that settles it. Bring me the head of Polly Tahoe. Told my ex-wife I was out of the business, but who can say no to a final job? I just have one question. This is high or low. Ichabod's landlord is up and awake. And seeing her living sure made him quake. Yeah. Oh, what will she do to Shut our... up! what sort of underground criminal circles you run in, Crane, but I want in. What? Jeffrey changed the combination to the safe again. He must have been onto my plan to pawn his mother's jewels after the divorce went through. Now that I'm a single woman, I want danger. I want craft cocktails at strange hours. I want a handsome man in a non-beige suit. I want treasure. We don't have any of that. Here's how we steal our treasure. Ah, 
Just what I like to see, a dweeb flanked by two gorgeous women. We're infiltrating Storm's Inn, but first, we need a crew. The muscle. The hacker. I'm in. In where? The pickpocket. Your pants? The linguist. It too, brute. The master of disguise. The dinosaur expert. Wait, I'm a bird expert. Welcome to the Friedberg caper. Equal shares in, equal shares out. And no one, I said, no one falls in love. The inn is hosting a wedding on the back lawn. First off, infiltration. We need people on the inside. In order to nab the key, we'll need to time this impeccably. But you wouldn't be here if I didn't believe in you. And I wouldn't be here if you didn't dig up my skull. We hack into their surveillance system, and suddenly, we control everything. No one ever sees it coming, and it never doesn't work. Get to the rendezvous point. I want to know everything about every guest, every caterer, anyone who's even looked at this place in the last week. I want their phone records, their bank records, their favorite froyo toppings. Unless it's rainbow sprinkles. Rainbow sprinkles are dumb. Blondie, you're up. We'll need eyes on the mark. She's about to have a rough day, so let's go easy on her. But not too easy but not too hard. More hard than easy, though. Let's say 65% hard, which is why my wife divorced me. Hmm? Next up, a Brody's kiss. Strip down and rub on the icy hot. Fine, never mind that. Just skip straight to the Cambodian surprise. Then I show up and seal the deal. Just like this. What a left hook. Let me guess, you're here with the caterers. The plumber, actually. No, didn't have time to plug the toilets, sorry. Then this should be an easy fix. What did you say your name was? I didn't. You should. I will. Or maybe I will. Polly, Tahoe, that's right. I've known it was you since you walked in the door. Well, I've known it was you your whole life, Oksana Bolshakov. I trained you. I haven't heard that name in years. You're the only one alive who knew me back then, but not for long. Are they fighting or, or in love? <laughs> ah, there she is, my international art marauder. Did you change your face, though? The doctors in Lithuania are incredible. All those years together in the Seychelles? What is happening? Before witness protection, before they renamed me Lucretia and set me up as an innkeeper in a quiet town in New York. Before that, I was an international super spy, global raconteur, socialite, and- My greatest pupil. Your worst nightmare. We pulled off some epic heists together. She's in the witness protection program? Executing the Loriano Gambit in Thailand on that casino yacht. Or the bitsy big little boondoggle in Miami, Ohio. If only I hadn't foreseen the Goldman hypothesis from a mile away, I may not have caught your entire crew. Well, someone's hubris is still intact after the Helsinki job. It'll take more than a team of Black Ops mercenaries to outwit me, Tahoe. And who did outwit you in Helsinki? You. No. Oh, yes. Guppies, status update. <laughs> Guppy one here. The basement hatch is open for business, baby beluga. I always cry at weddings. <laughs> Baby Beluga is pleased. I can't.
can't believe I fell for the Apex heist. The Delmonico Sting. I can't believe you <sighs> fell for me. I have to think there was an easier way to do this. <laughs> and that's why you'll never be able to rob the Prime Minister of Estonia on a roller coaster. Blondie, keep an eye on her. Rest of you, come with me. If I don't leave here with treasure, I'm raising your rent crane. To fate, not right now. Give me that booty. Say in Mykonos, jackpot, motherfucker. Get the goods to the getaway car. By the way, I'm recently divorced. Lady first. <laughs> this is an old pagan death site. Do you think that was... someone? Yes. Gross. It's protected. Here. These are hematite stones. They unlock memories. So maybe we just have to arrange them in a certain way. That's a constellation. Pegasus. Pegasus was born from the blood of Medusa. Matilda, do you know the Perseus constellation? On it. Bestie, explain. Perseus beheaded Medusa. Astronomy is my favorite branch of science. The stars in the night sky are what inspired I'm done. Wife of the year! Diary is over 400 years old. That's Annika Storms. And this is her diary. It's full of incantations, and this last entry is from October 1621. Here shall be my final resting place. I die knowing that the headless beast rides nightly looking for the head I have taken. It will find me and take its vengeance. It is better that I do the deed myself. So Annika Storms was a witch, and she unleashed the Headless Horseman and then killed herself. Unleashed or created? OK, how about this? Things in the settlement have gone awry. Henry and I have gone too far, and I fear the safety and the legacy of my children, not only the orphans, but my flesh and blood. For their protection, I denounce the name Storms, and hereafter my bloodline shall take my mother's name. Crane. Tonight, 
Juniper and the other sisters convene in the last place anyone would look for us. Henrietta has been summoned, though she knows not why. My hand, though shaky now, will not waver when the full moon beams through the glass as the calendar turns. I shall strike true through the neck, and Henrietta Hudson will be no more. Though I once loved her as a sister, I cannot ignore that her power grows too great. The Headless Horseman is Henrietta Hudson. Brom, get the skull. Annika will know where the head is. Henrietta was the leader of the Witch Coven, and Annika started the orphanage as penance for killing her. This is great. Well, not, not great. Hey, Polly, is the coast clear? <laughs> yeah, about that. Fuzz showed up, had to make myself scarce. See you in Atlantic City. Start the car, babe! I bet you weren't expecting me, Officer Beta Rhonda Meinhall. No. I think at this point they are expecting you. Me, on the other hand. <laughs> uh, never gets old. Oh, uh, you're at three million views now. At least a hundred are me. Can you at least not watch it on my phone? Oh, don't worry, you haven't missed any calls. No missed messages either. <laughs> oh, hello. Yes, I am interested in that phone and internet bundle. Excuse me, I have someone to talk to. Sorry, just dealing with the situation at work, you know how it is. Can you believe that whole heist only took 15 minutes? You really gotta slow down and appreciate all that life has to offer. Bron, it was a disaster. What? No, it wasn't. I snuck in some contraband. Polly Tahoe weren't already dead. I'd kill him with my bare hands. You know, I got friends in high places. My one buddy lives in Denver. <coughs> Caught this fella trying to break into Judge Pringle's house by pretending to be a moonbound salesman. Not too bright. It was all part of the plan. You son of a... Wait, honey, hold on. He said it was all part of the plan. I'm so sorry, Mr. Tahoe. Please excuse my wife. She's not used to being in jail. Neither am I, unless I'm trying to be. Your girl Dufay's a real firecracker. She's divorced, gave me a key to her pad. I move fast. I'm thinking about getting the crew back together. Johnny K, Johnny P, Johnny C, although he might be dear. Good riddance. Wait. This might still be part of the plan. Babes are running around with donuts. They're completely naked. Babes are running around with donuts naked. Are you serious? Those three numbskulls have been the bane of my existence since I started this job. Sometimes it feels like I'm the only cop in this town. Hello? Cat? Cat? Hi. 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 We're busting you out of the joint. How'd you get in here? Oh, it was bananas. There were so many crimes committed and disguises donned. My life was on the line. The babes distracted Officer Meinhoff and Judy had keys. That too. And so Kat's telling me everything about the Headless Horseman, and I'm like, there's a hell! Kat, we know who the Horseman is. Yeah, let's get ahead on him, then we can talk. Yep. Heads up, lols! Rom, no! <sighs> you're not a horse man, you're a horse her! Henrietta Hudson. And that's the skull of Annika Storms. She's the witch that beheaded you in the 1600s once we put her in. Oh no, did I ruin the 
adventure? From the, uh, the diary. Uh, Annika wax poetic about where she was gonna kill Henrietta, so maybe there's something in here that can help us, like a clue or... So many blank pages, though. I mean, I get that. Being consistent with a diary takes diligence. Not a lot of people are up for that, so... This looks like a riddle. Hey, we can talk about riddles tomorrow. She's been dead for centuries. One more day won't hurt her. I'm going to talk to my dad tonight. It's time for him to come clean about everything. Would you come with me? And Harry told you exactly what happened. You're the best evidence I've got. I'll come, Kat. Yeah, I think we need Ick about here. He's probably our best chance at finding Henrietta's head. Sorry, Cat Mandu. I think it's just you and wifey taking on your dad, bro. Fine. Meet us back at my house tonight, and we'll have the world's weirdest scavenger hunt. Love you. <laughs> okay, boss. Where to? Judy. Can you get into the morgue? Take Henrietta and find a new skull. Ideally, someone who can help, like a, a code cracker or a city planner or something. Scuba diver. Got it. Rom, let's crack that diary and find that skull. This is so exciting. <laughs> Solving mysteries, helping out a ghost. Ooh, I feel like a badass. I feel like Mark Wahlberg in that Mark Wahlberg movie. The Lovely Bones. Mark Wahlberg? Yeah. He was like a restaurateur at a really famous burger chain, and then he decided to become an actor instead. We have to pay someone a visit first. Rom, I never thought I'd say this, but... Assemble the babes. Was that it? No, it was for me. Let's find him. <laughs> oh, Doc! Sorry for the house call. We were just in a snowstorm, and we have the frostbite. <laughs> Don't let me lose my other fingies. Oh. <laughs> So, what are we doing here again? Dufay mentioned that Crayon just changed the combination to his safe. I bet that's where he keeps anything incriminating on Baltasar. Thank you, Polly Tahoe. Safe, safe. Where are we gonna find a safe in this giant house? How about that giant safe marked safe? Wow, Brom, you did good. Thanks, Dad. I mean, Ichabod. Six numbers. Okay, try 091795. Is that your birthday? Oh my God, you remembered? Why would the doctor use your birthday? I don't know. I don't hear you suggesting. <laughs> Just amputate it. Do what you must. We decided to go skiing despite urgent weather warnings, and we are ready to face the consequences, Doc. <laughs> Should I be concerned about high blood pressure at my age? Wait. What was no, that? no, 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 no. Wait, Dr. Crayon said. When his divorce was finalized was the best day of his life. That was my first day of community service. October 7th. I linked our Google Cals. I used Bing. Yeah. Yes! Yes! Okay. We're looking for uh, anything mentioning Ann Terry or okay. oh, Poison. Oh, Faye got that prenup. <laughs> it's all here. Baltus poisoned Ann Terry. And Dr. Crayon knew about it. What is it? It's a 
death certificate. For who? For Cat. Says she died a year ago. to have a dad to confront while Ick's learning new things with his pal Brom Van Brunt Judy is off at the morgue finding heads that's all we got for current story threads Excuse me Who are you? Oh hey, uh, I'm the bard I'm sort of this musical bridge to the audience No, I mean... Where's the other guy? One other guy? The other bard that, uh, that's been here since I got to town. Oh, yes, yes. Now I'm, I'm, I'm remembering. He is visiting his grandmother, who's very ill and lives far from here. Well, he never mentioned his grandmother was sick. Jeez, leave the guy alone, okay? My God, he's probably just visiting his grandmother! Wait, you, you, you said he was visiting his grandmother. I know I said that, because I just said it. No, first you said was, then you said probably. That's where he is, okay? Oh my God, it's just like, is that such a crime? No, it's not a crime. No one here has committed any crimes. I have to, I have to find Kat. Cat! Yes? I don't think anyone's here. Hi, it's Matilda. Leave a message after the banshee whale. Ah! Hey! I got the head! Oh, a body had just come into the morgue. So I distracted the autopsy tech by requesting an application and an interview. And long story short, I work at the morgue now. Well, congrats, but we can't do anything with that because we can't find Matilda. Oh, I took care of that too. I picked up more than just hitchhikers working with Matilda. Oh, come on. You were dead? Yeah, that old style finally got me. Man, bard on bard crime has been so out of control lately. Diedrich Knickerbocker returns from his tour. Visiting his grandmother, yes, I said it before. You all saw that part, so you know he really sucked. I think someone's upstairs. She literally murdered me! People use literally all the time now. It can mean anything. Well, you don't even play the ukulele. What's a ukulele? The Oh, come on. My hunch is they had help. Rumor has it your daughter is sweet on the crane boy. Oh, is that what the rumor is? I'll find them. Don't you worry. You better. I'll be waiting right here. Any sign of him? No. All I could find was his bag and one of his Invisaligns. <gasps> we gotta find him before his teeth start to move. I think we're on our own here. We just need to figure out where Henrietta's head is. I've hidden on this very page a spell that requires no witch or mage. And that's all it says. Oh, it's a dead end. 
Well, time to write a sad song about those we've lost, and we can wrap this up, right? Agreed. When life gives you lemons, you gotta write a catchy folk song about it and then email Pitchfork pretending to be your own publicist. And if they don't email back, you show up at their office with sandwiches. Everyone loves tuna. Except for Shirley. She's allergic. And she went into anaphylactic shock. She passed. No, you don't. You zest the ever-living fudge out of some salmon. Somebody get me a lighter. Oh, that is dangerous and inconvenient. But it's gonna have to do. What are you doing? I am just doing some magic. <gasps> it's a map of Sleepy Hollow in the 1600s. Judy, you said you can find Baltus at any time, right? Yes. And I need you to find Baltus. Oh, like right now? Yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. Morning, Absent Glory. This is one of those Sleepy Hollow ghost stories you haven't heard of. I don't suppose you've met your predecessor, Rip Van Winkle, yet, have you? No, I guess you wouldn't have. He has been locked in our guest bedroom for the past year. Cat, whatever this is, you don't have to do it. I quite literally do have to do it. Ichabod, if I don't, I die. Again. Don't look at me like that. Dr. Crayon called us. I know you know. I am technically dead. That's not possible. You're just not used to zombies looking so good. Is he dead? He is in a very, very deep sleep. Using his life force is the only way I can stay alive. But the spell only lasts a year, so each year I'll have to find someone new to put under. And this year, the perfect candidate walked into my life. New in town, no one to miss him. Thank you, Ichabod. Unhand my friend, you goblin! Oh, Cat! It's you! Oh, Ichabod, it's Cat! <laughs> Thank God! This sword rules. Where are we? What's going on? Are they doing like a sleep no more thing? Cat is dead. And Matilda is keeping her alive with a spell that sucks the life force out of people. Wow. You think you know the person you're married to. Then one day you turn around and they're a witch. And they're helping a girl you used to date, who it turns out is dead, to stay alive by putting someone else into a magic spell. Is that like pretty much it? That's the gist. Brom, you almost drowned in a waterbed once, so how on earth did you know where to find us? Not gonna lie, I uh, didn't actually technically know I was looking for you. Uh, I decoded the diary that led me to Henrietta's head. I used that trick that you did with the lemon juice and the heat. The science thing. Yeah, be proud of me. Very proud of you. Thanks, Dad. Ichabod! The horseman's head is here? Sleeping Ivy. That's why it only grows here. She can't rest until she's reunited with her head. What is that? Stay here. No, oh, Cat, where are you going? Hun honey, honey, are you playing I Can't Hear You? Because now is a really bad time for that game. 
trombones and Ichabod ended up captured. One would be sacrificed and the other one raptured. That's when I saved the sorry asses. Oh my God, just untie us. Wait, wait, let him finish. Through the forest so green, they made such haste, even though their evil plan was messily paced. Matilda and Cat fled far from the scene, and so someone else could intervene, 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 oh yeah. Who the hell are you? Hey, I am the new bard. I am a little more ska, a little less folk. Ew. What are you doing here? Distracting you? <gasps> You're killing people now? No loose ends. Come on. You know Google Maps? It was kind of like that, but it was printed out. This is why I told you to stay here! Okay, can we all just talk for a second? How did you die? What an odd bedtime story to request. Once upon a time, Rip Van Winkle decided to throw his hat into the ring for mayor. My father was not pleased, so last year at the Autumn Gala, he decided- It'll be quicker if I do this. Sure. An autumnal aura hung in the air. The townsfolk of Sleepy had nary a care. The mayor poured his rival a drink with a grin. But no one saw the poison within. But an angry young woman learned of something profound. That her dear mother Liz had not actually drowned. Baltus, not in the mood for this talk, told his daughter to cool it. Perhaps take a walk. And the poison took hold in an instant, my friends. And I think you know how this sad story ends. Katrina Van Tassel died that very night. Baltus called in a friend for a magical rite. But for her spell to work, she'd need somebody's soul. A life for a life, so I'm often told. And Baltus, he knew who to pick for this plan. His rival Van Winkle would be the best man. And one evening, our Rip was enticed deep into the wood by a figure in a hood. The magic, it worked. Cat was alive. And long as Van Winkle lay sleeping, she'd thrive. Matilda felt guilty, but this was her brand. And a life without her was too bleak to comprehend. That brings us up to speed. Thanks. <gasps> Matilda, how much time? Five minutes till midnight. Took a page out of your book, Judy. Trackers. Oh, 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 they sure do come in handy. You can't just keep me in here. I haven't done anything wrong. Oh, Judy. You are so good at dealing with all the bureaucratic nonsense I hate. But now, you know too much. So what, what are you gonna do to me? Me? <laughs> Nothing. I'm everyone's favorite mayor. Unfortunately, I think that nosy newcomer Ichabod Crane will kill you. 
and then skip town. He'll be missing after what my daughter has planned for him tonight. Ron, we have to find that head. You know I can't let you have that. Without the head, the ivy will disappear and I'll die. And you wouldn't want me to die, would you, Ichabod? Not after spending so much time trying to get in my pants. Uh, cat! <laughs> Matilda, get back! I can't, the full moon is in place. The moon? Monica mentioned the full moon beaming through the glass. Why? The lights, the stage, the floorboards, look! <laughs> We did it. <laughs> we finally found that. Head. So you're just gonna kill me? The same way you killed Anne Terry? Oh, Anne, yeah. She was a very good assistant as well. A little too good. If only she hadn't stayed late that night. You're a monster. You're like, like Lord Farquaad, but worse. Oh, don't blame me. Blame Crayon. I've been paying him off ever since Kat's accidental death. Anne overheard him demanding more money. Poisoned her that very night. You got all that, babes? I think I've heard enough. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. My assistant's gone mad. She means to kill me. Mayor Van Tassel, you were under arrest for the murder of Anne Terry. What is this? How dare you? You have the right to remain totally owned. That was the babes. They told me to say that. Me? I'd never say it. I'm very professional. Get on the altar, Ichabod. Don't do it, Ick! Ow, my bones! I have more of them than a normal person. Okay. Okay, I'm going. See you on the other side. Matilda, what are you waiting for? Start the incantation! Sorry, cat. Ripsicle? Oh my god! Oh, buddy! Oh. All right, I got it. Thank you, Brom. <laughs> I think there's someone else you might want to thank. As long as I've been in Sleepy Hollow, the Van Winkle family has fought for wisdom and fairness. I'm glad to see that will continue. <laughs> Who are you? I've been many people over the years. An explorer, a sorcerer, and a headless ghost. I'm Henrietta Hudson. I'm the founder of Sleepy Hollow. I'm so sorry. She was my best friend and I, I thought I could save her without hurting anyone else. You couldn't have saved her. No one could. I know. The bishops have had incredible power since they arrived here in Sleepy Hollow. You have unlocked so little of what you're capable of. Henry and I were hired by the Dutch East India Company to find easterly passage to Asia. His ship was blown off course on his journey and ended up in Nova Scotia. But mine made it. 
When he finally arrived at what is now called the Hudson River, my colony was burgeoning. And his jealousy got the best of him. He found a willing co-conspirator in Annika Storms, my second in command, whose fear was matched only by her resentment for my power. And so I was erased from life and from history. Feels good to remember. This is as far as I go now. Goodbye, Henrietta. Ichabod Crane? Thank you. No. Thank you. Never really had friends before. Or a family. Now I have both. You have much more than that. You don't know what drew you to this place. In death, Annika Storms made amends to me through you, her most worthy descendant. Your grandmother and those that came before her carried the guilt of the storm's name. But you, Ichabod Crane, found the strength you didn't know you had. Don't let Abraham play with that. So... Beautiful. I'm really hungry. I haven't eaten in an entire year. It's been a few months since events have transpired. The horseman moved on once her head was acquired. Got time to approve these campaign posters, future mayor? All the time in the world. The town's a new place, with Henrietta now gone. A fresh chapter of ghosties and ghouls has begun. Like me, I'm a ghost now. was the first day at Sleepy Hollow High. Great. We started the semester off with a unit on astronomy. And my commute is super easy with gunpowder here. I got 10% off with the code devil. Did you make any new friends? Brom, I know that you called the school and told them I have bed bugs so that no one would befriend me. It's just that we're best friends. Oh, Matilda, do you have Sage? The new landlord's coming by, and I want to cleanse the place of negative energy. Is that... Is, is that a thing? And where were you all night, Missy? Raising the dead. Good girl. Now smile for the photo. Deep in the forest where ghouls hunt and wallow Is a town by the name of Sleepy Hollow Our dear horseman's tale is now at an end and into the ether she shall ascend. The friends Ichabod's made and the stories he'll tell. If you come here too, you'll be under the spell.